the HHO generator that I built for a customer. Um, this one's for a torch. It's got the pressure switch and uh, the torch assembly here. Um, it's got a built-in check valve in the lid. Check valve on the hose. Flashback arrestor on the hose. Torch. And basically, inside here's is my six series electrodes that I ran in a series. Um, there no wires. It's all um, threaded together with stainless steel threaded rod. And here's one that's not clear. Um, made for his truck that he ordered to. And I also got a easy fill system here. It's a union. Just pull it off. This is where it goes into the intake. Fill it up. Um, if that's too tall, you can always fill it up and then turn it like that to fit in the truck or whatever you need to do. Basically, uh, um, this thing is going to pull about 300 watts and make us 1.5 liters a minute. Um, I got uh, PWMPower.com is working on my PWM for me uh, to, to gain more control over this and hopefully to double up my efficiency would be nice and that's uh, pwm.com you can uh, hook you up with the pwm for these or for your own HHO generator and uh, you can get these electrodes and torches and stuff from me at h2extreme.com and I do make custom generators like this one anyway I'm going to go ahead and give you demonstration. It's going to be a little bit different today. We're out in the sunshine. You're not going to be able to see my flame at all, but you're going to be able to see what the flame will do. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. Get all that gas. Okay. Light up my torch. hear it. You can't really see it, but there's, oh, it went out. There's a flame there. See that? See these weeds? That's pretty much it. Uh, do whatever we want with that torch. Okay. But anyway, what I wanted to show you was uh, these are the owners of the house that I'm living in. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what this thing can do. Just what they can do. Oh, oh, oh. Keep us right. 